Thank you. Thank you very much, and good morning to all of you. This is a great and exciting morning. We're all very happy, and we will all happy on your behalf, uh, smile on your behalf, we want you to know. Uh, it is a great day. And let's start by thanking the leadership of the state police uh, and Major Benziger and the entire training team for a really, really great job and a great experience. Let's give them a round of applause. And let's thank the support network that surrounded these graduates, these new troopers, the mothers, the fathers, the wives, the husbands, the children who provided support through a difficult period and a few difficult months, and I'm sure there were many days when the recruits came home and, and maybe even suggested that what they were going through was more difficult than they had expected and there was a support network for them there and a support network that will carry them forward. Congratulations to all of you. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> to the graduates today, I am one or two classes ahead of you. I've been governor for about 22 months now. I was in a very small class. There were not a lot of applicants, just myself and Bob Duffy, actually. Bob Duffy was the taller graduate of the class, Lieutenant Governor Bob Duffy. But I think whether you're an elected official or you become a state trooper, you become a trooper and enter the workforce and enter the state at a particular time. And depending on that time, there are different issues that are going on. If you had become a state trooper in the 60s, there was a major issue with anti-war movements and demonstrations. If you'd become a trooper in the 80s, there was a terrible crack epidemic that was sweeping across the entire state, urban areas in particular, and posed a challenge. If you'd become a trooper about 10 years ago, it would have been right in the aftermath of 9-11 and the trauma of 9-11. But in 2012, I think in many ways, the world is a more complicated place. Life is more complicated. The state is more complicated than we've seen. You become a trooper at a time when the nation is at war, when there are all sorts of new terrorist threats, and terrorism is an evolving art and an evolving science, and combating it is an evolving procedure. There's economic anxiety that everyone feels. This is the first graduating class in three years. Why? Because the state couldn't afford it, because of the deficit we had. First time there had been a break in new trooper classes since the 70s, believe it or not. And the economic anxiety is felt by families all across the state and individuals all across the state. And it increases the anxiety level of people and the way they behave and the way they act is affected by that anxiety. Compounding this problem in many ways, there's been a loss of trust in government institutions in particular, but institutions by and large, there's been a loss of trust in New York State government. New York State government has had some issues in recent years that it hadn't had in the past. And all of this, goes into the world that you're going to step into and the world that you will need to chart a course through. And I think it's important that you view the landscape, you get your priorities right, you get your perspective right, you set your course, and you find your true north in life. Everyone has a true north. When I was running for governor about two years ago, I was in the middle of a particularly confusing period. Campaigns can get very contentious and get very confused. And there was one day when I really needed to sit down and get a sense of my bearings and what's it all about and, and why do I want to be governor and what is the situation of the state. So I sat down at my desk and I started to write a few words. And I wound up with just three or four words that wound up 
meaning everything for me and my direction in public service. And I put a circle around the words, and I said, if I ever become governor, I'm going to create a pin that has these words. Because for me, it said it all. I became governor, and I made a little pin, and I wear the pin every day, and I've given it to everyone who comes to work in the state government and my administration. And I'll give the pin to every one of you today as my gift. And the pin is very simple. On the bottom of the pin, it says, I work for the people. I work for the people. Why? Because that is the bottom line. That's why it's the bottom line on the pin. You work for the people. There's going to be a lot of people with a lot of opinions. Newspapers have opinions. Columnists have opinions. Lawyers have opinions. Mayors have opinions. Advocacy groups have opinions. A lot of people have opinions. But you don't work for them. You work for the people. You will inevitably run against people who say, well, you work for me. I pay your salary because I pay my taxes. I run into them on the average of five times a week. So I am sure that you will run into them occasionally, just as a test to see if you can keep the same face that you're keeping now when, when that person says that to you. But you don't work for any one person. You work for the people, the people, meaning the collective, the community of New York, the concept of the people, not an individual. And if you are working for the people and you are delivering for the people, that is true north. That is where you are supposed to be and nothing else matters. On the top of the pen, there are three words. The first word is performance. Why? Because you have been trained, you have been selected, you will be engaged to perform a task. What do the people of the state of New York expect from you? They expect performance. They expect you to do your job. And your job is a very important job. And your job can make the difference between life and death for a person. My job is not that important. The difference for me is taxes go up or taxes go down. If I perform or don't perform, for you, the odds are much, much higher. And I believe you enter a workforce, you enter this state when the job of being a police officer is more important than it's ever been and more complicated than it's ever been. There are many skills that you need today. Fighting terrorism, cybersecurity is an issue that you didn't have 20 years ago. Biological issues that you didn't have 20 years ago. First responder issues. One of the greatest challenges we've had in the past 22 months in this state are weather patterns that defy usual reality. Storms, ice storms, floods. Really, some of the greatest challenges. And we have not had to deal with that at this frequency before. That's your performance. And implicit in the concept of performance is not just to do the job, but to do the job better than the job has ever been done before. The state police are not just a police force. They want to be the best police force in the United States. And your goal is not just to be a trooper, but to be the best of the 4,400 troopers that are serving the state of New York. That's what performance means. The second word is integrity. Why? Because any relationship is only as good as the level of trust in the relationship. A friendship, a marriage, I don't care what the relationship is. It is only as good as the level of trust. And the relationship between a citizen and their government is also a function of the level of trust, especially if you're in a position of authority. And trust cannot be accomplished in a speech. Trust is accomplished from viewing your actions time and time and time again. We are working very hard in the state to establish trust, to reestablish trust, to show that this is a government that is worthy of your trust, that this is a state police force that is worthy of your trust. 
respect the authority because the authority has respected the integrity of the relationship and the trust that the citizen bestowed on the state police. That's what integrity is all about. There are two types of integrity. There is institutional integrity, where the state police as an institution behaves and operates in a way demanding and deserving integrity. And there is personal integrity. In my opinion, when you are a state police officer, you are a role model for the community. And that is not when you just, not, not only when you have the uniform on, that is a 24 hour a day obligation. And I expect you to uphold the integrity 24 hours a day as a representative of the state police. And the third word is pride. Why? Because if you are performing with integrity, you should be proud. Pride is a good thing. Pride is affirming. Pride generates a positive energy. And if you're doing your job, and you're doing it well, and you're doing it with integrity, you should be proud. You should be proud of who you are, proud of what you do, proud of who you do it for. I am proud of the group of people who I've brought together in the past 22 months to serve in my administration. I am proud of the job that Superintendent Joseph D'Amico is doing. He's done great work with the New York State Police over the past two years, and they've made great, great strides. I'm proud of Major Steve Nevins, who's taken over the governor's detail, which was often and for long a troubled detail, and he has cleaned it up, and it is going amazingly well. I'm proud of the tradition of the state police. I'm proud of the uniform you wear, the purple tie from the Praetorian Guard, an elite Roman unit, the gray uniforms hearkening back to the black and the white of justice and the impartiality, the black stripe down the trousers, remembering the fallen comrades and people who have paid the ultimate price. I'm proud of that tradition. I'm proud of the job you do. I'm proud of the state of New York, which is the greatest state in this country far and away. And I am proud in each and every one of you because you are a self-selecting group and you have proven yourself to be brave and you've proven yourself to be strong and you've proven yourself to be smart and you've proven yourself to care about other people and care about community. That's why you're here today. With your help, we're going to make this state, this great state of New York, an even better state. It's my honor to join with you today. Thank you and God bless you.